Hello and welcome to Flashville Meets Get and Transform. My name's Jeff and I'm glad that you're here. In this short video, we're gonna see how we can do powerful transformations using Get and Transform queries with the ease of Flashville based on a recent update. Let's just go ahead and get started. We've exported some data from somewhere, it doesn't matter where, or maybe this data is in a CSV file or a database. Um, but the point is we've got some data and it looks a little bit like this and now we need to clean it up. Okay, specifically, we want to split this name column into first and last name and handle the formatting, like proper case, like capitalize the first letter of each word. Then we want to combine these three columns into a single column and again, uh, uh, apply the appropriate case. Uh, and in email, we want to simply convert it to all lower case. Let's check it out. Data from table range. All right, then we get a preview in the query editor. Now here we go to add column, column from examples. And we can say we wanna build the example based on looking at all of the columns or just from the selection. Okay, so either way in this simple data set would probably be just fine. So we'll say from selection. And now we just need to give it the first one, right? So the first one is Brandon. So we type in the first pattern, hit enter, and Excel provides a little preview, okay? And it looks good, works just like Flashfield, but we're in Power Query. And then we click OK to apply that transformation. And basically, it is, uh, it's a user interface that um, actually records you know, the, the formal transformation for us, but it just gives us the ease of Flashfield. We can do that again for the last name, which would be man, hit enter, and click OK. And now to combine city, state, and zip, add column, columns from example, we give it the first one. Okay, comma, space, and enter, and okay. And now for the email, columns from example, and we just give it the email, hit okay, and okay. All right, if we wanted to clean this up a bit, we could. We can just select any of the columns that we no longer need and hit delete. Um, if we wanted to clean up these labels, we can double click and say first, last, address, and email. All right, and then we can just simply close and load to return the results back to Excel. Okay, and we got it. So again, this is great because it, uh, it gives us the, the ease of flash fill. Instead of worrying about formulas or manually defining the transformations, it's more intuitive. We just give it the first one and, uh, and it fills the pattern down. Hey, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.